The following presentation is brought to you by the Realm Network. Funny brother, that, wait until was, tonight. Wait until tonight when I get Matt Yaden and I take his livelihood away. I take his school play. away. And then you know play. what, brother? Yep. You know what? You versus me. Oh, he's laying One out last time. Okay, here we go. And I'm not just talking about. I'm not just talking about pro wrestling here. I'm not just talking about a couple of guys getting in the ring and putting on a show. I'm not, I'm talking about a fight to the absolute death. Oh, wow. I'm talking about for your soul, Mercury Aiden. I want your soul. I don't want you. I don't want anything else. I want your soul. And what I want, what I want is the school. You know, it was six years ago, I sat in a room kind of like this one. I said to the world, there's just not enough room in the world for both of us, Yaden. We don't have a lot of common hoodlum, but what we did have in common, what we did have in common was the desire, the desire to show everybody out here what true professional wrestling was. I built this company. Did you hear what I said? I said that I built this company. I built this school. Look back at the footage, Matt. Take a look. Literally, the groundwork for everything that we stand upon right now was built with my blood. And we've had our problems. We've went back and we went forth and back and forth over and over again over six years. And all you are now is a sad, fat old man who wants credit for everything that he did not do. I got a call while I was in Nashville saying, please, please buy this company back. Everybody's relying on you, everybody's relying on us, and together we forged something that nobody in the state of Colorado ever thought could exist. And that only existed if we started training true professional wrestlers. And I thought you were in this with me. If I had to choose between Hoodie and Matt Yaden, I'd probably go with Matt Yaden. I've known him for almost two years, and every chance he had to kick me out of this place, he has Because Matt is a good teacher. Because he was there for me from the start. Had a tryout, he was there showed up. He's the one that pushes me through everything. And I know no matter whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Matt's going to be here. So what I'm going to take away from you, Matt, is something that you will never, ever, ever get back. Next week, Let the body sit down. I'm going to take away your name. He's taught me a ton about intensity, and I pick Hoodie. I've seen Hoodie from the jump doing a whole bunch of other stuff, helping me out, become a better wrestler. Where I know personally how much Sherman and I both believe in me. And I think that uh, with the help of Hoodie, I can get to where I need to be in this business. I learn way more from Hoodie as opposed to Matt Yaden and his cell phone all the time. When I take away your name, not JC, not any of those idiots in the school, not any of the fans, nobody, is gonna be able to give this back to you. You can say anything about me. You can say I put on weight. You can tell me I'm a shell of the man that I used to be. But the second you bring my daughter into it, now it's real. Now it's real. It's personal now. It isn't just about the school. It's about stamping out somebody who doesn't belong.
and gentlemen, welcome to the latest episode of Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. My name is John Madden, alongside Big Rob, and Vince Russo is joining us once again on the commentary booth. You know, Vince, it's obvious that you were not going to miss being next to this huge match tonight between Matt Yates and Hoodlum for the control of the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy, because you want to be able to say, I told you so, admit it. I want to be able to say, I told you so. I told you so to Stephen Ashburn, who I've been telling him that Tyler Stinson's been keeping him down, and now they're having issues. Tyler Stinson's blaming me, threatening me. In my opinion, if Stephen Ashburn were on his own and he ridded himself of Stinson, he could be the Rocky Mountain Pro Champion right now. But tonight now, let's see how things pan out. Because, Rob, the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Championship is on the line. This is going to be a huge match. What a huge night. There's so many, as you would say, huge things happening here tonight. And what formidable opponents that the balance have for this match in HR Nightmare. Jason Jackson and Big Vig. I mean, these guys are just ruthless. Look at Big Vig. The guy's a monster when he steps inside that ring. I put these guys in the ring with any tag team in the country right now, and I mean that. And I'm not just talking about the power and the ruthlessness. I'm talking about the teamwork and the way they play off each other. Both of these guys, buddies from Utah, they travel all the way here to Colorado to defend that title. The car rides, the unity, the brotherhood. I expect them to be tag team champs for a long time to come. Well, they definitely got all the tools to be one of the best tag teams ever, especially here in Rocky Mountain Pro. From one great working tag team to one. Yeah, my CEO job is at stake. But so is Matthew's ownership of the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy. Now, Matthew and I go back a long way. The story's told. Back to gut check at TNA. Ladies and gentlemen, the wow, following contest there is set for Mac one fall and is for the Rocky Mountain Pro Championship. First, making his way to the ring, Helling from Brookfield, Colorado. Weighing in at 248 pounds. Please welcome Sugar Free, Mario. Last time we saw Mario Vandra, he defeated Rolls-Royce Isaacs in an empty arena match for this opportunity at this championship. Boy, and those two destroyed each other last week. The fact that he looks as good as he looks this week is absolutely amazing. And his opponent, making his way to the ring, Helen from Skull Mountain, Georgia. Weighing at 241 pounds. Please welcome Humphrey Jacobs. You know, when you look at how calm and collected he is, back with his Colorado Cup, he knows what's on the line tonight. This is a big match. This is the biggest match in his career, quite frankly. For all the marbles. Let me state that again. All the marbles. There's so much on the line. This vacated championship. Sam Udell, you're lost. But look, two guys, they know what's at stake. Old school wrestlers. It's going to be a great match, Rob. Two of my favorite wrestlers in the company, and of course, Humphrey Jacobs the first has only been at it for, I don't know, a few months, but he's on top. Let's take a look at Well, and here we go, John. This is gonna be huge. Vince, this is this is a match that, that you were excited about last week, and you saw Mario Vandrew leave it all on the line last week. Who do you think's leaving this match tonight with the championship? Well, this is it, guys. This is for the prize. This is for the Rocky Mountain Pro Championship, the most coveted title in the state of Colorado. And I got to tell you, bro, listen, I like Humphrey Jacobs the first, a little bit of a nut job. I mean, anybody whose dream was to be in Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a best of five table match. First, making his way to the ring from Golden, Colorado. Well, here we go, boys. You got that grin on your face. You got that I told yeah, you, you know, so I ready in the back. My face because, listen, let's call a spade a spade. Look at the shape that Matt Yaden is in. And no disrespect to Matt Yaden. He hasn't wrestled in a very long time. He hasn't wrestled because he took on the responsibility of running his company. 
I warned Matt. There were many private conversations where I said, bro, Hoodie's been in there every week. This is what he does for a living. You better think twice before you get in a match with him. Obviously, he didn't listen to my advice. Vince, wow. this isn't the normal type of match, though. There is so much more on the line, and Matt Yadin knows that. I think that's going to fuel him, fuel him in this type of match. Well, I don't, I don't, John. He's thinking with his heart. He's not thinking with his head. That could be dangerous. Now, you know, ju just looking at the ring entrances, pretty confident, pretty not in a hurry. Matt Yaden, back and forth, back and forth. You could see the nerves. You could see the nerves about to spill out of him. But he's ready. He's got the game face on. He's been looking forward to this match for a long time. Guys, a long, long history between these two. John, you know it better than oh. either one of us. And Yaden is still down from that shot to the lower end. Oh. Holy cow. Damn, he's using the whole can. Yeah, security, clear him out of the oh. way. This is he dangerous. Oh, my God. Fire. What's going to